What up everybody, Zach Attacks Fat here, and today we are attacking my simple vegan spaghetti squash recipe. You could honestly, if you wanted to, make this whole entire thing in a microwave. I don't do it that way, and I don't suggest you do it that way, but if you wanted to get extra simple and extra lazy with it, that's definitely a way that you could. Let's just get into this. This is going to be kind of a short video since this recipe is really fucking simple but it's really good it's something that i really enjoy so yeah i'm gonna take you along with me all right so i figured i'd kind of go through everything that you need for this including what you need to cook it um so this is a spaghetti squash it's literally called a spaghetti squash that's what you ask for at your store and somebody will help you find that. A jar of tomato sauce. I normally get a different brand, but it's the day before Thanksgiving here in America, so the store was absolutely mobbed, so I just went to a different store, and this is the only kind they had. You need a little bit of olive oil. I'm choosing to use these Gardein meatballs just because the macros on them are really good. For three of them, it's only 150 calories with 14 grams of protein. And then we have some slices sliced mushrooms. I like these just to kind of add a little bit more volume and more texture for my sauce. Then just sea salt and pepper just for seasoning the spaghetti squash. Then you're going to need a pot with a lid for the sauce and the meatballs and then a microwave safe platter, plate, whatever to cook the spaghetti squash on. So you could also use some sort of like Pyrex dish. I have a couple Pyrex dishes, they just don't fit in my microwave. So this is what something that I had that was microwave safe that I could fit a spaghetti squash on and that would fit in my microwave. All right, so one other thing I forgot to mention that you need is a knife um, to cut the spaghetti squash in half. So we're gonna be cutting it horizontally, not uh, vertically or I don't know. I don't know if it's horizontal or vertical. I guess this is the top, so it's horizontal. Anyway, we're gonna cut this in half with our knife. Got the spaghetti squash cut in half. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is get a spoon to scoop out all of that shit from the inside. And you aren't gonna be using this for anything, so you can go ahead and just dump it in the garbage. All right, I'm gonna do the other side. Whoops. Now that we have both sides hollowed out, we're going to drizzle a little bit, of, yeah, drizzle a tablespoon of olive oil over each half, and then grind some pepper and some salt on it as well. All right, now that we got the olive oil on there, salt and pepper time. So now what we're gonna wanna do is get our microwave safe dish, plate, platter, whatever, and put some water in it. We're gonna want a good layer of water, and this is gonna evaporate and kinda steam the spaghetti squash while it's cooking. All right, so I got my water on my plate. So now I'm going to put the halves of the spaghetti squash with the inside of it down. Just like this. But don't spill. So next you're gonna put it into your microwave and put it in for 20 minutes. All right, so now that the spaghetti squash is in the microwave, we're gonna get started on cooking our sauce and our meatballs. Gonna to wanna to put it on about a medium flame. I'm using my, the big burner, the power burner. And basically what we're gonna do is wait for this pan to heat up just a little bit before we add our sauce and our meatballs. All right, so our pan is now heated up. So we're just going to dump the whole jar into our pot. Ooh, it's a little bit too hot. So I just turned it down to like the medium low. I know I said medium before, but I think I was wrong. And then now I'm going to place all of the meatballs in there. And I'm probably gonna portion this out into two meals, two to three meals. So I'll end up using all this. I'll have the macros for each meal at the end. 
So that's it. We just dump the meatballs into there. I got this spoon for mixing. Now I'm just gonna kind of mix it up so the meatballs are coated with the sauce. Then I'm gonna cover it and let it cook. It's time to throw in some of these sliced mushrooms. And I'm not gonna be using the whole package so I am going to be weighing them out. And so then we will just grab some out of here and put it in to our bubbling sauce. I like to kind of crumble them up so it's not as big of pieces. Oh geez, shooting shrooms everywhere. So now we're going to just mix that in. This pan is getting pretty hot. So now this is time to turn the um, temperature down and just kind of let things simmer. Now that I got the mushrooms in there, I'm bringing the sauce temperature down. I'm going to put it down to um, medium low and kind of let these meatballs cook, let these mushrooms cook. And then there was 75 grams of mushroom. Five minutes and 22 seconds left, so it's only been about 15 minutes, 14 and a half minutes. Um, but since this was a smaller spaghetti squash, I figured I should check it to see if it was done um, a bit quicker than it normally is. It's kind of squishy on the outside, which means it's cooked on the inside, so I don't need to cook it any longer. You want to avoid overcooking your spaghetti squash because then it's a little bit mushy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pull it out of the microwave, leave it sitting on the counter to kind of cool off while the uh, meatballs and sauce cook. So something I just did off camera, sorry about not showing you guys, I just spaced on it, was I dumped the water that was still left in here out into my sink. So yeah, just once you pull it out of the microwave, dump the water off, and then what I kind of like to do to let it rest and cool off is to flip these back over. That way, whoa. As you can tell, it, it, it kind of helps release some of the temperature and steam. Be careful though because it is really hot, so don't uh, keep your hands on them too long. But yeah, if this is what uh, your spaghetti squash is looking like at this point, you're doing good. So let's check on our sauce and meatballs. It's looking pretty dang good. Now what we're gonna wanna do is just kinda test the meatballs since they were frozen with a fork see if they're still frozen or if they're fully cooked. And then if they're cooked all the way through, it's time to just pull it off and start portioning. Got my fork, time to do a fork test. And it went in pretty easily and clean. It didn't feel like it was frozen or chunky in the middle at all. So it is cooked. So now we turn the burner off, cover it up again, and prepare the spaghetti squash. All right, so I got a big plastic container. This is what I'm going to put my spaghetti squash in. So basically you're just going to push the fork in and pull back and that's how you kind of denoodle like noodleize it or spaghetti eyes, spaghetti squasher. <laughs> that's just how you're going to do it. You're going to push down in and pull it away from the skin and then that's how you get it out of there. We're going to throw it into there, see what our total weight is. We're done. All right, so we're just working our way around pushing in and pulling all the strands out towards the middle. And then we just scoop it up and out like that. Throw it in the Tupperware. All right, so now I've got most of it out of the two halves into this dish and it is 23.45 ounces. Now that we got it weighed out, since I'm only making two portions, I'm just gonna take half of the spaghetti squash out of here, put it into a, another container just like that one and then split this down the center and portion it out into two separate meals. All right, so now we come back to our sauce and meatballs. Um, in that whole pack, there is 12 meatballs, so I'm going to put six meatballs into each one of these and then kind of just spread the sauce as evenly as I can. All right, so there's actually <laughs> 13 meatballs in here, so I guess I'm just gonna split this one in half and put another half one in each of those and account for that extra meatball in my uh, calorie count. So now the plan is just to divide the sauce up into each one of these and you're done. So there you have it. I know it's not the most aesthetically pleasing now, but I gotta admit, it tastes really, really good. The macros on it are really, really good as well. 
I'll put those on the screen right now for two servings, three servings, and four servings. So however much you want to make out of this, you'll kind of get a ballpark of what your calories are going to be depending on your hunger levels and your calorie limits for the day. So there you have it. That was my recipe video. Cooking is something I do enjoy doing. So if you want more simple recipes or just more recipes in general, comment down below, let me know. But other than that, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you like me, please subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. And I know.